Hey guys and welcome back. Um, first, I want to say pardon my dust while I get everything set up here. Uh, I know last week's video quality was awful. Uh, I shot 30 minutes worth of video and then went back and looked at it on the computer and just did a huge head slap. Realized that I was completely out of focus the entire time. The background was in like super sharp focus. So I hope you enjoyed watching the blanket all week last week. Um, also, I've got incoming channel artwork. Uh, I tried uh, hitting up some friends who I know are artists, that kind of thing, but really wasn't able to get anything worked out. Uh, I found a guy on Fiverr, um, which if you've not used Fiverr before, it's kind of a kind of a cool service. Um, so anyway, incoming artwork. I'm also setting up a Twitter account. Don't know how much I'll actually use it. I've never really tweeted before. I don't know. Uh, so we'll see. Anyway, something coming. Um, so one thing I wanted to touch on in the intro today uh, that I didn't last week was why I'm choosing to play the violin. Um, you know, I mentioned that it's a beautiful instrument and that, uh, you know, it sounds great when it's played well. But, um, you know, another thing that I, oh, a thing that I didn't actually mention was that um, I have a desire to, at some point, you know, play with others. You know, not necessarily play, like, in a huge public setting. I don't see myself being a stage artist, you know, in, uh, in the sense that, you know, others, you know, go on and, and perform for, perform on stage. But, you know, um... I would really like to play for my uh, church's worship band at some point. Uh, they um, hold open auditions every year, and um, I think that a violin could bring a lot to uh, our church's worship. Uh, they do a really contemporary worship style too, so um, you know there's a lot that a lot that could be added by a violin. I think. All right, so for practice this week, we're going to be in the basic skills. We're going to be reviewing bow technique. Uh, I talked about this at the end of the video last time when uh, I had a lot of trouble with Fur Elise. Uh, I was really struggling with some of the string, rapid string changes in that song. So, um, for, uh, so we're doing bow technique and the D major scale. And then also for our mastery section, uh, I'll be playing Amazing Grace, which also has some rapid string, uh, string changes in it. And uh, it's a song that I'm a lot more comfortable with, so I can really focus on what I'm doing with my bow and less on the notes that I'm playing. Um, in terms of the new music, we will be doing for release again since I'm still really needing to work on that song to say that I, you know, that I know the song. Um, I've come much further than I was last week. I'm pretty much to the point where there's about three bars of the song that I really just don't know yet. Uh, so it's, and it's right there in the middle. Um, so we'll go through that though when we get to the new music. And finally for free play, uh, I'll be playing Sweet Afton so by Nickel Creek. Uh, that is a song that I originally learned on the mandolin uh, and then uh, moved it over to the violin when I started playing that. I think you'll, f and uh, the reason being that the mandolin and violin are the exact same tuning, same number of strings, um, so it makes it very easy to take a song from one and take it to the other and vice versa. So yeah, that's this week's practice. All right, as I mentioned, uh, for the basic skills section, we'll be doing uh, bow technique. So I actually found some videos this week uh, of Itzka Perlman um, going, talking about basic techniques. He actually has a YouTube channel that looks like he hasn't touched in a couple years, um, but he got questions from fans about how do I practice this, how do I practice that, um, and there are two videos in there where he talks about bow technique and bow grip. Uh, I found those hugely helpful, so uh, go ahead. Here's a link to his channel. Go ahead and check it out. Um, there's some other videos on there as well that uh, you might enjoy. Uh, but yeah, um, so it's Kaprilman, very famous violinist. If you don't know, uh, one of the person that many would call a, a, an absolute master of the of the instrument. So if you're going to learn, learn from a master, right? All right. So we're focusing on good bow grip as well as good technique while playing. Um, you know, some of the videos I've read sort of talk about the thumb and the uh, index and the pointer, the, I'm sorry, the middle finger acting as kind of a fulcrum and you balance with your pointer and pinky fingers and your ring fingers just kind of floating there on the side. So that's what we're going to be focusing on um, as well as making sure that the wrist is nice and loose and moving fluidly as I'm working the bow up and down the violin and also keeping the bow nice and parallel uh, to the strings and keeping it between the fingerboard and the bridge. So, well, and you may notice I actually have a practice mute on here. 
the reason for that is there's almost always a kid sleeping at any time that I'm shooting a video or practicing violin, period. So um, can't wake up the little ones. Hence, practice mute. need to be careful. I'm focusing on my bow, but I'm also forgetting my left hand a little bit. Uh, so make sure that, you know, it's good to make sure that you're remembering all your skills and not just uh, the one that you're focusing on, although your main attention needs to be on the one you're focusing on, right? So, um, yeah. The heck? Oh, there's like a weird chunk of rosin in the bowstring. Look at that. Yeah, there's a chunk of rosin in there. Nasty. Out with you. Ugh. I'm blaming all of my problems on that right now. Except that. That wasn't rotten. And that's some basic practice of bow technique uh, while playing a D major scale. Now for the mastery section, we're going to be applying what we just worked on in the basic skills with bow technique to Amazing Grace. Uh, if you're not familiar with the song, it uh, has quite a few string changes in it, including tying back and forth uh, across two strings. So it really focuses, it forces you to focus on using good bow technique, making sure that you're not uh, catching strings when you don't expect to, that kind of thing. So, um, Amazing Grace. Got the kinks. Oh. And that is Amazing Grace. All right, and next up is the new music section where I'm continuing with Fur Elise as I was playing last week. So um, one thing that I realized in the middle of this week uh, is that I was actually playing uh, a note wrong the entire time that was causing the whole thing to kind of sound off and make it very difficult to continue to, to play it. And I realized that in the middle of this week, which means for a week and a half I've been practicing the wrong note and I'm in the middle of trying to train my brain to play the right note. So I had been playing this when in reality the uh, correct note is so yeah you're probably gonna see that a handful of times 
as I go through and continue working on this song. So, for release, here we go. This is the part I don't know. Da, 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 uh. So, hold on. Sometimes it helps me when I'm doing this to not even worry about the bow and just go through it with piezo um, so that I'm focusing on the notes and not on other things. That part's just weird. It doesn't flow for me, I don't get it. Ugh. I mean, the rest of it after that is actually pretty much the same as the intro was. shot from the top. Played the wrong note. So as you can see, I'm still struggling a little bit with that piece. Some of that is because I'm mixing up notes that I had previously learned the wrong way and I'm now trying to unlearn. Um, the other is that there are some pieces, especially uh, there's a, there's, the other is that there are some pieces in there about those three bars that I mentioned that I'm really struggling to get. Um, you know, I can play them in pizzicato or I can play them with a bow, but either way, it just something about them sounds wrong, and it makes me wonder if I have screwed up the music theory portion of this whole thing again because, um, yeah, it just doesn't. It doesn't sound right, so I don't know. I'm going to have to go listen to a couple other recordings of this song and see if I can hear, you know, where I'm playing something flat or sharp um, and maybe fix it that way. I don't know. So we'll continue working on this one. Um, it may not be the primary focus piece going forward, though, for new music. Is, uh, you know, if you continue to try and play the same thing over and over and over for weeks on end, you eventually burn yourself out. Uh, so it's good to be rotating different pieces through. Um, you want to work on something, in my experience at least, you want to work on something for, <laughs> my experience for what that's worth, you want to work on something for a certain period of time, you know, two, three weeks, and then set it down, work on something else, two, three weeks, put that down, go back to the original piece, and you'll have come to it with fresh ears. Um, and I find that works in a lot of places, not just playing music. You know, if you're working on a project at work and you're spinning your wheels, don't just sit there and spin your wheels for a week at a time. You know, set it down, work on something else productive, come back to it with fresh eyes later. So yeah, all right, that is new music for Elise. All right, for the next section, we'll be doing Sweet Afton. It's the free play section where I just kind of play something fun that catches my ear. Put a little rosin on there. Check to make sure there's no chunks of rosin in my bow. Freaking weird. All right. So this is a song I originally learned on mandolin. Um, I learned it from a tab on mandolin, so I really actually don't even know the correct, you know, notes for everything. I, I eventually, after I started learning music theory, realized that the entire song is in E major scale, uh, which makes it very easy to follow along with. Um, so E major being... or something like that. Um, yeah, so this is a fun song. 
I enjoy this one. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you, again, if you have any tips or advice for me as I'm learning to play the violin, feel free to leave me a comment below. Uh, also, if you enjoy watching other people learn, uh, enjoyed this video, and want to see me make a, continue to make a fool of myself, then please subscribe and uh, you'll get all the future videos that come out. Um, and yeah, we'll see you next week.